Okay, everybody, time for today's three stock lunch. And here with our trades, Bill Strazulo, chief market strategist at Bell Curve Trading. First up, we got your target. The share is plunging more than 20% today after posting its biggest earnings miss in two years, uh, posting just a slight uptick in customer traffic in the third quarter despite making deep price cuts on thousands of items, also hosting an early holiday sale, doing it all, cutting full-year profit guidance as a result uh, just three months after hiking that same forecast. What do we think of Target here, Bill? I'm going to sell it, uh, Tyler, all day long. Look, the bottom line is the sales are flattened out. Their customer base um, is, you know, in, in this mode where they just want to buy what's essential. And um, I don't think that behavior is going to change anytime soon. They could have had a decent quarter. They had the opportunity with the discounts, the promotions, Halloween. But the, the customer base just isn't there. The customer base is buying what is essential to them. That's not going to change anytime soon. I'm a seller. Um, uh, what I'd like to do here is sell anywhere uh, in the mid-130s, if we get any kind of bounce, which we might, on a technical bounce, 135 to 140, I think the stock goes to at least 110, 105, and maybe as steep as 90. Mm. All right. Wow. That's a big drop. Let's move along to Williams-Sonoma, which is hitting an all-time high. We say no one's spending discretionary, but they just posted a beaten raise quarter and are on pace for their best day in nearly 16 years, Bill. The stock is up 27%. Yeah, I'm a buyer here, Kelly. Um, look, I mean, very good earnings report. Uh, they beat estimates for revenue sales, earnings per share. Um, the year-over-year -year revenue number was not was not great. It was down 2.7 percent, but they operated the business more efficiently. They they increased margins. Uh, earnings per share were better this quarter than last. And I think the most important thing here is they're getting much more aggressive on share buybacks. They bought a little bit more than a half billion in, in stock back. Uh, very recently, which was a record for them. They just announced a new plan to buy a billion uh, dollars worth of stock back. Um, I think the stock goes to 215. I'm a buyer from 165 to 150 uh, with a closing stop below 140. But I like it here, and I still think there's, uh, there's good upside for, even from here. All right, fantastic. Let's get on to our final uh, one. Palo Alto Network, cybersecurity firm. Third quarter results after the bell this afternoon. What do you think of this one? Yeah, I'm a buyer, Tyler. Look, um, one of the biggest cybersecurity firms in the world. Um, they've done a really good job integrating AI with their products and services, and, and they've had a really nice bump in annual recurring revenue. Um, I think this stock is potentially a $500 a share stock. We'll see what happens in the earth with the earnings after the close. But I'd be a buyer here, 375 to 350 on any weakness. And I think the stock goes back to 400, 450, maybe as high as 500. And I'd have a closing stock below $315 a share. All right, fantastic. Clear answer there. So you like two, didn't like Target. Bill Strazulo, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it.